Morning folks, it's a Monday morning here and the temperature here in Oklahoma over the past few days has just been kind of all over the map. I think the high today is supposed to be like 75 and what Wednesday, Thursday or Thursday, Friday, something like that. We're expecting a wintry mix. In other words, uh, temperatures, the highs will be in the below freezing and yeah, we're, it's typical Oklahoma weather. <laughs> anyway, the days after, um, Shaving cream that is not after shave, but the shaving cream is Arco. This one here is Hydrate, and you know, typical, I guess you might say, everyday price. If you can find it in stock, is about six bucks. And uh, this particular, I guess you might say, line comes in about three different flavors. Um, uh, one's cool, this one here is Hydrate, and I think one's for sensitive skin, but uh, three different kinds. And the best I can tell as it goes for any kind of scent, oh, I should show you what the it. In other words, it's white color of the shaving cream. If there's a scent to it, I would consider it naturally occurring. In other words, really nothing uh, to be speak of in the way of a uh, scent. Uh, whips up just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got it whipped up here with the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, this one here, if I can get it turned around. Yeah, this one here is Solar Flare. There we go. 24 millimeter uh, cashmere knot. Um, I like this knot. It seems to work well for me. Uh, got it whipped up here in a fine uh, lathering bowl, red and white one here. I say I, if it's there, if it's a scent to it, it's just naturally occurring, at least from my nose. Uh, so in other words, I wouldn't think that the scent would be off-putting to anybody or anything quite like that. And I'm going to follow the shave up with the uh, Osage Rub. This is 14 ounces, and like I got a link down below for the Arco and the Osage Rub and whatnot. And uh, this one here, it is mentholated. Um, 14 ounces, depends on where you shop. You can pick this up for about, I don't know, about eight bucks, seven or eight bucks. Just depends on where you go. I've seen it go as high as $10, but uh, for 14 ounces, that seems like a pretty good buy for a uh, uh, aftershave that is uh, mentholated. <clears throat> and it, it does say on the label, it says, uh, uh, <laughs> It does say apply briskly for that all over tingly feeling. <laughs> it you know it is one of those kind of advertising things that I, I find kind of interesting to read. Uh, I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning and used the pre press so pre shave this morning. This one here, this white one, and uh, I've got about two days worth of growth here. A shaver of the day is equipped with a Persona X series blade. This is what the wrapper looks like. And this particular shaver here, I got from Mac Metalworks. He doesn't make these uh, razors anymore. But this one here, this color is a very unique color, depending on what kind of light you're uh, looking at. Sometimes you might get a shade of purple. Uh, it does have a little bit of a red tint to it. It's a metallic color. Um, I don't know what this kind of coating is, but uh, to me, it, it's just a, it's a fantastic looking color. Um, this is the only one I got. I don't know if he made very many of these. If he did, it wasn't very many. So I kind of feel like I may have the one and only. Um, it is a it is a very unique color. And it it is it just looks awesome. It is great when you can find uh, some of these uh, razors that are uh, a one-off or there's not very many of them made like this because it, uh, I guess you might say, it kind of makes it extra special. As it goes for the head, if it looks very familiar, um, that's because it is. It reminds me, uh, the shave when I usually get a shave with this one here, it does remind me of like a Edwin Jagger DE89 or a Merker 34. Um, it is very similar to, to that kind of shave. Uh, mild, I guess you might say, or smooth, easy going. Uh, especially for a Monday sometimes, uh, if you're, I guess you might say, a little blurry eye, not quite ready for the week get started and there you go yeah it's a it'll be a great shaver for those kind of occasions but uh like i say this uh shaving cream doesn't really have a, a i guess you might say at least per my nose doesn't really have much of a scent to it i have a uh, uh, the cool one that's got it's i guess you might say lightly mentholated it it's the menthol is there when you when you give it a try, but I don't think it's anything over the top or uh, like some of the others that you might experience. 
But it's, uh, I guess you might say in the grand scheme of things, it's not a bad buy. Oh, I should mention it's a uh, 100 grams as it goes for the size of the tube. And it is plastic tube as opposed to a metal, if that matters to any anybody. That sort of thing sometimes does play a factor in whether somebody wants to buy a tube of the shaving cream or not. Um, for me, I don't, it doesn't matter to me one way or the other whether it's plastic or metal. Uh, if there was ever a problem with either tube, I would think it would be the metal one every once in a while, depending on how you squeeze it out, whether it would start to develop a hole. And the metal one would be the only one I could think of that might develop a hole over time. And it'd probably be closer to the end of the use of the tube. I have not tried one of those keys that you might see from time to time that you put on the end of a metal tube of shaving cream. That you kind of roll it down in order to get all the shaving cream out of it. I have not tried that. Maybe one of these days I might, but... I don't have very many metal tubes of shaving cream, so. Right now, I don't see much of a need for one. <laughs> I just keep on squeezing it out just like it was toothpaste. That's first pass right there. Two days worth of growth, taken off pretty quick. Pretty easy going. Yep, it's a... Uh, I, yeah, like I say, it's pretty close to Edwin Jagger DE89 or Mercury 34C. It's a pretty, pretty easy going shaver. <clears throat> Speaking of the weather around here, it does, well, it's like this for me. It does play havoc with my sinuses. In other words, when the cold front comes through, I think it's supposed to be a low pressure front. When it does come through, it's gonna, I can usually tell the day before <laughs> with my sinuses. It's a good weather barometer, in other words. <laughs> if you haven't tried the Persona X series blades, They typically come in a pack of a hundred. I have yet to see them come out, in other words, in a five or a ten pack. They're usually sold in a hundred pack. And the packaging of these uh, Persona blades of Gishmite say have changed over time. Uh, some of the uh, Gishmite say previous packaging of Persona blades in a hundred pack might be a, a bit bigger in the box. And uh, the ones I've been getting here lately that are uh, on the X series, the box is somewhat smaller, so the pack they're packed in there more densely. If that matters, if you're kind of tight on storage, that might be something to give consideration because the, the box is quite a bit smaller. I'd have been thinking ahead of time, but I brought the two boxes in here so you can see the difference. There, there's a big difference in size. Even though it still houses the same number of blades, the box is different, different sizes. I also think that the wrapper is different too. This wrapper does seem to be quite a bit different than the, I guess you might say the blue wrappers that we're accustomed to seeing Persona blades wrapped in. All right, getting ready for Against the Green Pass. So far, no nicks, cuts, weepers. Nice, smooth, easy going Monday morning shave. For me, Persona blades work well. Pretty much whatever I put them in, I get nice shaves with them. But definitely use the blade that works best for you. Um, I've tried several blades over time. And I find some that work out quite well that you don't see used very often. And then there's some that are used often that just don't work well for me. I 
I guess that there was ever a rule in this kind of shaving, traditional or wet shaving, there was ever a rule. <laughs> the rule is uh, works what's best for you. It's your shave. <laughs> a three pass shave may not work well for you. You may end up doing two passes uh, across the green. In other words, from ear to nose and then from nose to ear. If that works better for you, then that's what you should do. Our faces are different. The way our hair grows on our face. <laughs> I have seen, I thought mine was bad enough with the, uh, with the curl. And I watched a video here recently where the, uh, uh, underneath right here in this area where I have my, my curl over here and it grows in a different direction here where somebody's hair was growing this direction. And boy, that's gotta be, that's gotta be tough. I can't. In other words, if you're growing a beard, I can't imagine how that would be. Uh, that's got to be a, <laughs> a tough one to work with. Because in other words, your typical, I guess you might say, shaving directions that I normally would use, um, you would have to vary it. So even a two-pass shave for that kind of growth, you know, might be in the works. You just change the direction of your strokes through the first two passes. So you could probably catch everything you need to catch. For me, just using the normal routine of the three-pack shave and a number of shavers work just fine for me. Uh, ones that are, I guess you might say, more aggressive or efficient, I can uh, I can work with those and get a two-pack shave and be very close shave. Uh, smooth, comfortable. Shave afterwards, in other words, it, it, the shave feels just fantastic. Just doing a two-pack shave. In other words, it may take a little while before you figure it all out. What's the best direction? What works best for you? It's kind of like this here also. <clears throat> Talk about something that works best for you. For me, using alum by itself seems to be problematic. It seems to dry my face out and not a very good uh, post-shave feel, even with the aftershave or or whatever I might be using uh, afterwards. Uh, but using the hazel, uh, which hazel with the Allen block, those working together seems to work better for my face. Uh, I can use the Allen, I mean, use the witch hazel by itself and the shave goes just fine. But I feel like, you know, in certain cases, uh, anything that I get in the way of nicks or anything that you, in other words, that's not bleeding, no weepers or anything like that, little things that are going on with the face afterwards, um, I feel like it would help keep it healed up, I guess you might say. Uh, for me, I, I do get kind of concerned about that sort of thing. Things that you can't see that's going on with your face that you might find if you went straight <laughs> to the aftershave. I feel like uh, using the two in combination before I put the uh, aftershave on that has uh, alcohol in it works better for me. Uh, for some folks, they may not need either one of them. They go straight to the aftershave. And I, I can definitely understand it. There's what the uh, restrictor looks like. It's a plastic opening right there. Like I say, work it to what works best for you. Like I see this menthol, it is present. It's a lot like the, uh, I guess you might say, Arco's um, shaving cream that's cool. This one here, there is just enough in there where you can feel uh, the cooling sensation. I don't feel like it's over the top, uh, at least for me. For those that are a little bit more sensitive to it, that may be a different story. But for me, I'm not sensitive to the uh, menthol. And uh, it does have just a great, nice cooling effect. I like to use it year-round, menthol. Anyway, I've had a great, fantastic shave this morning, especially for a Monday morning when you're not quite ready to get back to work. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay healthy, stay safe. Spoosh to you.